Hi everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hanger out here. Welcome aboard the Japser. Yes, the Japanese Corsair, Rank 2, Ballerin 3.0 for the Japanese. And I wonder why it went up to 3.0. Could it be that me and Joe tended to get like 7 and 8 kill games in this thing? I don't know. Hello there, Mr. 111. How are you doing this fine day? Yes. Come here. There we go. Oh, you are on fire now. Yeah, double fire. I don't think you're going to put that out. Yeah, I have had six and seven kill runs with this thing. I think Joe had a seven and an eight. Yeah, this thing's pretty notorious for being a seal clumber, which is why I'm shocked I never got around to covering this on the cheap buys. Oh, thank you. The only thing you ever have trouble with this bird in is getting enough snacks because it faces USA teams, and yeah, we all know about USA teams. Yeah, look at him mowing the lawn. Eh, I should probably go down and get some... Whoa, hold up. Wait a minute. That's a Morco. Yeah, there's another seal clubber. So, yeah, I'm not going to go down and get snacks when there's a seal clubber up here. Yeah, he needs to go away. Yeah, especially now that it has a 20 mil. Yeah, I don't want to leave that thing up here where it can dive on my booties. Hello? Hello, do you not see me? Hello. Okay. Yep, now you are on fire. Yeah, this is why you want to use stealth on this thing. Yeah, if he would have saw a bunch of traitors, he would have dodged. And yeah, with the stealth, lots of incendiary. So yeah, you will set a lot of things on fire. Okay, what? why he not go down? He was burning quite nicely. Okay, well, maybe he put the fire out. I got bigger fish to fry. This Falker is trying to mess with property of the Emperor. Yes, you can't do that. Oh, and see that P-40? We'll be seeing that douchebag again. Yeah, but I can't worry about him right now because look at that. Our beautiful flow plane is being harassed. You are being rude. This is unacceptable. Yes, you are bringing shame to most honored ancestors by hassling property of Emperor with your crappy little Fokka. So you come right now. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah. Nasty little Fokka. Ugh. Yeah, the premium Fokka is one you won't be seeing me on. Yeah. Nasty. That's just nasty. And what a shock. Look at that. The time it took me to rack up three little snacks. Yeah, their team's blowing away like a friggin' fart. Just. <laughs> oh, good grief. And it's sad, because USA birds at this BR are fucking powerhouses. I mean, look at this thing. They've got a version of it in an American 3. Yeah, but what do they do? Oh, finally. Took him a while to hit the ground. But yeah, what do USA teams do? Lawn mow, mowing the lawn. And what happens when they lawn mow? Yeah, they get their ass handed to them. And look, here's Forrest Gump running to his runway. Yeah, he has no score. His team is losing on tickets. So what does he think a winning strategy is? Let's go do fucking donuts for 12 minutes. Because, yes, that's really going to help your team, especially when they're freaking in a battle for their lives over there by the forward runway. Yeah, go set it to back runway and do donuts. That's certainly going to help you pull out a win, you worthless piece of shit. Oh... Gaijin, come on now. This is getting fucking ridiculous. You got rid of the freaking AI gunners on the damn boats to get rid of the zombies? Get rid of the freaking base AA or at least put a fucking timer on it so we don't get this bullshit. Let's face it, this match is over. Their team is all but dead. My team is racking up. There's no damn point in stretching this whole thing out for 23 fucking minutes because some douchebag who has no points 
thinks it's a good idea to waste everybody's freaking time. Well, I'm going to put in a cut right here because after babysitting this asshole, I get freaking tired of waiting and decide, fuck it, I want some more snacks. Uh, especially since this XF5X has actually been doing some work for his team. Yeah, although he's awful damn close to that forward runway, which makes me think he's also trying to use the AI to his advantage. But here's one that's not being a camping douche bag, the 109. Yeah, he was busy chasing the guy on the far side of the map, got him, and now coming over to help his buddy. Hey, can't blame him for that. Covering your teammates, this is a team deathmatch game, that is what you should be doing. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have dove down there though with a jap air above you, but hey, we all make mistakes sometimes. Yeah, now nah, he's not feeling too good. He's probably gonna have to go get a repair. Again, can't blame him. That's what you should be doing. But uh, XF5F, get a what? Quit camping the fucking runway. Really? Good lord. See, Gaijin, this is what your fucking bullshit encourages, man. When it was freaking off for a week, yeah, people actually fought. They didn't fucking sit there and just do donuts for no damn reason. Because they knew it wouldn't freaking get them a free win. And instead, now that you've turned it back on, guess what they do? Yep. Fucking donuts. Oh, it just makes me sad. There's no point in this shit. When I started playing, there wasn't AIAAs. And you know what? The game was better for it. People actually had to show cooperation. People had to cover each other. Provide freaking combat air patrols. That's what you should be doing. Teamwork. It's a fucking team game. Stop having the AI do all the damn work. All right, XF5F, you've been camping there too damn long. You need to go away now. Thank you, fuck you, bye-bye. And of course I tell him, yeah, getting real tired of the camping shit nozzles. Of course the 109 thinks I'm talking about him, but I'm not talking about him. Yeah, I'm talking about this fuck nugget. There he is, after camping his runway for 12 fucking minutes. And look, you missed, and now I've reversed you. Can you guess what he's gonna do? Come on, boys and girls, take a guess. Did you say go to do donuts at his fucking forward runway? Yep, if you did you get a virtual cookie because that's exactly what he's gonna fucking do. No score, he's not helped on his team, no kills, no assists, no nothing. All he can do is donuts because he is a worthless fucking USA main. And gee, USA teams suck harder than a Brazzers model on their fucking audition tape. Yeah, let's see how much he contributes. And of course, I have to tease him some more in chat because, well, I'm me. And if it, anybody who's flown with me knows, I have a lovely habit of trash talking. Because I get really tired of this horse shit. I tell him, hey, you like runways? Why don't you come play around ours? Because, hey... We're winning on tickets, and there ain't shit you can do about it. Yeah, look at them tickets. You could farm all day, shit nozzle. You ain't doing a den on that. Yeah, what a fucking worthless, worthless fucking player. Oh, and look, he crashed into the first AI he shot at. Gee, that 14 minutes you wasted was so productive. I bet you didn't even make enough to pay the fucking repair cost on that thing. Oh, see? And you wonder why USA teams are so pathetically bad. There you go. That in a nutshell. 
Ah, oh, since the shit stain is dead, I was friggin' nice enough to just pop an Annie Mac as a way of saying thank you guys for having a lovely match now that the douchebag's gone. And the enemy 109 is like, hey, can I have some? I need some. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. You at least tried to fight, buddy. I'll give you your props. I mean, you fought hard. The only time you went to the runway was to get a repair, which is 100% legitimate. So go ahead. I won't even shoot at you, buddy. You fought well. Good job. I hope the SL helps you out a little bit. See, you can be nice if someone's trying to freaking fight and doing the best they can. I say let them go. Be nice. You don't have to be an asshole like that P40. Oh, really? Oh, uh, and he freaking crashed trying to shoot an AI. Oh, well, at least he tried. God bless him. And let's see how we did, boys and girls. Yeah, first place, four kills. Not hard in this bird. Let's see how she paid. Oh, hell yeah. That's not bad for a tier two at all. Oh, and I got my first daily done. So yeah, if you want you a good cheap grinder for Japan, here you go. Good climb, good handling, great guns. And it will easily get you to tier three, which is where all the real powerhouses of Japan is, like the A6M5. The late model Kai 61, the friggin' N1Ks, yeah. Definitely pick up this bird when it's on sale because it is a good cheap buy. I hope you find some good cheap buys during the sa next sale and I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all.